So in this video, I'm going to talk about fonts and how to change them. Some people had some issues and were kind of confused on how to get them to work and how to change your colors and how big it is and um, also the type of font. Um, so I'm going to go over that in this video. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the correct plugins. Um, and the plugin I'm using is Easy Google Fonts. So you want to go ahead and install that by just clicking Add New. And you could just go in here and just type in Easy Google Fonts. I just want to be on the same page with everybody and have them install or have you install that. And that's right here. The second thing you want to do is you want to make sure that's activated within the theme. Um, after you activate it, let's go into the plugins. There's one little thing you need to do to get it so it's working correctly. And I'm going to go to the easy uh, Google fonts in my plugins and click settings. So let's do that right now. And uh, control name, just create a control name. So I type in Google fonts. You could make whatever text you want and then click save control right here this little save button so make sure you do that you don't have to force uh, styles or anything like that on this one just save control font so you just want to make sure that's uh, that you add a name to it then the next thing you want to do is you want to go into your appearance and customize right here and you want to go into your typography and then the default typography right here. And then what I did is I added this as a heading one. So in the editor, you can make this heading one or whatever. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to kind of show you that um, in a bit. But just as long as this heading one, heading two, this is how you control each one of those. So heading one is here. And it's going to ask you a bunch of questions, basically, uh, about how you want that to look. And if you go under Appearance, you could, it looks like on, on this, you could change this. But on if you're using Beaver, Build, Beaver Builder plugin, you can't change this font right here. I mean, this font color. You have to do that within Beaver Builder. But that's okay. It's really easy to do. The other thing is the font size. So here's how to make that font size bigger. So anything with the heading one, um, that's the font size and so on. And then you could make the space big and so on like that. Um, and the other thing is your actual font text. So if I go under font family, under styles right here, then you could change that font text to anything you want. So I could just randomly do that. And all this is just Google Fonts. Um, and you could just type in Google Fonts in uh, Google and just type in Google Fonts. And you could look for this, the one you want. Or you could go one by one and look through this um, as well. So it's really up to you how you want to do that. So that's for Heading 1. And then you could do the same for like Heading 2 and so on. Uh, and then. Uh, save a, save and publish your settings just like that. Let's go back and make sure that you are clear. I just want to make sure that you understand that in your page editor, uh, I'm using Beaver Builder for this one, and we're going to launch it. And if you go and you highlight this right here, I made this heading one. Now, if I make it heading two, it's going to do whatever I told it to do in the settings for heading two. So you could change it for every single one of those right there. And we want to change the color. And you could do that right here in this editor by just clicking this text editor here. And you could change it to black and or whatever color you want, purple, and so on. So it's really, really easy to do that right here in this here editor. Um, and it makes it really easy for you to do it. So I would do it that way. That's the best way to do it. Um, you could change the styles and so on, but it's really a lot better to just use this like I showed you and use like a heading one um, like I showed you here. So I hope that video helps and always uh, save your changes and um, let us know if you have any questions.